What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to US dollar. We're also going to be looking at Dudex as well as the current coin market cap. Um, as we discussed in yesterday's video, we had some very interesting movements and we pretty much uh, figured out or we're trying to figure out the previous support as well as the current resistance. That is pretty much over the entire market. We discussed specifically the fact that we could be seeing a bullish cross leading to potentially a run in you know, the bullish direction. But what I wanted to discuss in today's video was looking at the current resistances that we're having right now. Um, as you guys hopefully notice on the markets, we're starting to get rejected from that um, uncertain resistance closer to the previous levels we were retesting yesterday and the previous days. So in today's video, I specifically want to go over these and what we could pretty much do to, you know, basically lower the level of risk when in reference to making out trades, as well as what could be potentially to come within the markets. Although if you guys are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up and remember to follow me on twitter at crypto v official this way you guys can stay up to date with all the recent posts as well as what's going on within the markets and if you guys wanted to reach out to me directly start a conversation you can definitely do that on twitter as well um, otherwise let's jump into today's episode so guys, yesterday, before we jump into the technical analysis, we were discussing that we were starting to see a bullish cross here on the MACD. And with that came the possibility of us breaking through what appears to be this channel right here and could send us directly up to the middle moving average. So in today's video, I want to continue discussing this. Um, I want to start today's episode uh, looking at the current coin market cap and then jumping straight into Dudex, switching things up a little bit on the channel. So as you guys can see clearly, um, the current coin market cap, we really aren't seeing much crazy movements right now. Yes, we can see a clear uh, downtrend right now. You can see that the markets are kind of falling down three to 4% with a clear resistance up here. And for the most part, we are starting to get slightly rejected from that current resistance that we have on most of the cryptocurrencies. Um, specifically, I wanted to jump into the current uh, charts you can see on Dudex. Um, some very interesting plays and things to take notice of. Now, as you guys can see on the Dudex chart with Bitcoin, we don't really have uh, a lot of previous history within here so we can use Bitcoin on uh, on trading view in reference to Coinbase to kind of gauge what exactly is going on. But you can see if we focus on Dudex right now that there is a clear resistance. We can clearly draw this right here. This uh, definitely goes on a lot longer. You can see that on Bitcoin, we are looking at Dudex, I believe on the weekly or sorry, on the daily. So we're not really seeing too much of that consolidation unless we zoom in really close. And then you can start to see where it is that we're kind of hanging out right now with a clear resistance uh, right here and a support right there. So you can see that we are starting to see one to almost three days of uncertainty, a lot of resistance and rejection from this current resistance point right here. And we're starting to see uh, consolidation or breaking lower. Now this may change as we continue throughout the day, like we've seen based on these previous candles right here. But honestly, if we do decide to correct lower, we should be falling down to about $5,000. And then if we retest this and we end up breaking below here, there's a good chance we will short and, and open a short position and then you know expect to see a consolidation all the way back down lower. So um, for those of you interested in exactly what Dudex is and why I'm using this, there is a link in the description down below if you guys want to copy and mimic what I'm doing. Um, basically, they are offering a sign up bonus, I believe up to $70, which is pretty cool if you check that out. Um, but otherwise, I do use Dudex to buy long and sell short as well as leverage trade most of the positions that I have open currently. Um, and for those of you interested in relevance to what exactly I plan on doing, um, you can see that on Bitcoin, we do have this clear resistance right here. I'm going to delete what I had drawn previously. But you can see that it's very, very, very noticeable that we are getting rejected right now from our resistance of 62.73. There's a clear resistance pattern right here. And we have a clear support right here. So what we discussed uh, a couple video videos ago was if we ended up or we set a buy long uh, along about this area. And basically, if we were able to break through this resistance right here, there's a good chance we would go long all the way up to about $8,200. And then we would also have a short position set at around, I would say, anywhere between 40, 465 and between $5,000 as a short position in case we decide to break bearish. And those two positions carry over to Dudex right here. So we would basically set up a sell short. Um, specifically, I have my trades planned and mentioned on my Patreon. So if you guys wanna know my specific trades, check on my Patreon. There's also a link to that down below. But just to give you guys some information on what it is that I'm probably or am currently going to do after the video is set up um, positions that will fill if the 
market and the price tends to lead there. So we know that if we can see a break above about $6,200, we know we'd flip long and probably shoot all the way up to the previous resistance, which is right here at $6,855. We know if we break through here, retest the $6,800 and we can go above there, there's a good chance we'll flip long and head up higher. Now there's a couple of things you guys have to notice. We can even extend this out ever so slightly. Um, the thing that I want to discuss with you guys is in the fact that we have to put our position if we're trading conservatively higher than the current resistance of 6200 because as you can see there's been a lot of pump fakes in the past where the price has moved higher up and then immediately corrected back down and we don't want the order to execute you know, and then correct back down lower and we end up losing profit. So it seems like the best scenario to be would be just slightly above the highest wick, which would be closer to about $7,000. So we, if we are able to close above 7,000, there's a chance we could flip long and shoot up even higher and probably retesting closer to $8,200. We then know that if we can break below our resistance of 5,000 and we place a conservative bet obviously the closer to this resistance or the closer to the support that you put will basically increase the risk level uh, conservatively if we place it just below the previous wick uh, closer to forty two hundred dollars if we break through here there's a chance we'll you know immediately correct I don't want to say crash but correct down to a lower price level and that is definitely a huge possibility on this coin this is actually the lowest levels that we've seen on Dudex since they've been you know made since this has been brought to Dudex um, so that's definitely another position we have to play out so the two options are set you know we will discuss those specifically on my patreon um, but as of right now we do have to be fairly patient due to the fact that the markets are pretty much just trending sideways we're not really seeing any major jumps or any major um, downfalls so we really do have to be fairly patient patient with the market. We had one, two, three, four, five, six days uh, last week, if not, you know, basically just a full week of price just trading sideways, basically flatlined out with really just a ton of uncertainty right here. Eventually, we were able to break through this resistance and we're currently hitting the $6,400 or $6,300 resistance right now. And the same thing applies, tons of uncertainty and we're kind of trading negative from there. So we do have to basically play this, you know, channel out right now until we see either direction. Now we can use some other cryptocurrencies to help base whether or not this coin will be breaking bullish or bearish. We can look at Litecoin as well as Ethereum. You can see I have a better position set on my Litecoin chart right here, uh, much clearer than what is on Bitcoin. So you know that on Litecoin, there's a clear resistance at $40 and a clear support at 33. And we could easily set um, the prices to engage, you know, or the orders to fill if we break obviously above the previous week of 44, with a chance we'll shoot all the way up to anywhere from 51 to $56. And we also know that there's a support at 33 and we could place a conservative uh, short closer to $28 in case we flip bearish and you know consolidate lower so there's two options right now these are the you know the areas we want to cover because we can never be too sure so we're kind of just covering our asses or uh, I think it's CYA so we have to make sure we do that and then we have to just consider the markets are really not moving right now we're seeing a lot of consolidation very little price movement uh, the prices have literally been trading between 33 and 38 dollars for the longest time right now so we do have to be fairly patient then looking at Ethereum the same thing applies right here we're hitting Hitting our bottom support and we have a current you know um, bottom at 110 so if we break through this good chance we'll short it down to the upside or down to the downside or if you can break through the top resistance which is set at 136 with the previous wick at 153 we could set bullish and expect to see um, a run to 187 back to those moving averages so there's a ton of options to play right now but it's merely just a waiting game so you guys have to be fairly patient and then to wrap up today's video with XRP, another crypto that's showing some very good um, charting right now. Uh, you can clearly just see that there's a very strong resistance across this uh, coin right now and a very clear support, clear resistance at a level of 15 cents and then a or if not maybe even 16 cents and then a clear support at 14 cents as the bottom we've had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten days now trading sideways flatlined out you can see the bullish cross right here which could reference a correction to the upside as i said in yesterday's video so we have to be fairly patient patient you have to let the markets you know kind of unfold and unravel and we can obviously set up some buy um, orders just in case we fear feel comfortable and we could kind of catch the run 
before it actually happens. So if you're on a conservative note, definitely let me know what your opinions are down below. Um, otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, and remember to follow me on Twitter at CryptoViaOfficial. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Peace.